All right, hi, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about how we're going to have our homepage laid out. Uh, so we're going to have a list view pretty much, and let's log in here right now. Currently, we don't have anything in the homepage displaying. That is because we just have this hello world, and that is evident by what we have in the layout. So close the menu folder and the activity homepage. And as you can see, we just have a text view with hello world. So in here, we want to have a list view where we'll be displaying items. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'll kind of get rid of this padding because I want my list view to kind of uh, fill the, let me show you how it will look. So let me just uh, write a list view. Starts with capital, then list view. Then the width, I'll match the parent to fill the whole parent width. And the height, I will match the parent as well. And I'll give it an ID of, um, ID of, I, I use the, at Android, I use the, uh, the, the, the list view provided by Android ID list, so that's the default provided by Android. I'm going to I'm going to use this because I'm going to extend, I'm I'm, ex, I'm going to extend a list view activity here. And as a matter of fact, let me do that. List view activity, list activity, not list list activity. So by extending list activity, we are able to now get the default uh, list view in in an activity so this is the, the the main list view so it should be by using list view you should be able to just say get list view and uh, it's kind of worth it better than just calling an activity so with that done I think we're all set and to to um, format you just options command L in Mac control uh, I'm not showing Windows I, because I in Eclipse it's Command sh uh, Control Shift F, so that's something to find out. But so there we have a list view, and uh, like I said, I want to get rid of this padding, and now it fills the parent. So that's beautiful. That's how we want it. So our list view will be laid out like this. So. As you can see here, we have an adapter, and we have data from parse, and we have our list view. So we're going to create an adapter class. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to create an adapter class that is going to um, adapt data from parse or objects and adapt them into our list view. So for example, as you can see here, these are objects in parse the status objects, like this one with an ID, object ID, new status, and the username, and all that, the, that, that is an object. So an adapter uh, has a method called getView in it that uh, always adapts uh, objects into a, uh, uh, into a specific row in a list view. So it adapts one object into each row using the get view. So we're going to use get view and it's uh, and Android is very smart. Some uh, uh, some stuff the, the adapter knows how to do it works. It, it's it, it's work. So um, a typical adapter always has a, a image view on this side, just like your cell phone contact uh, or any other app you've used before. So this is a typical list view. We have an image and some text views next to it. And another text view on the side, as you can see, this five minute ago, one minute ago, that's a time text view there. And there's a button, a uh, custom button there. I think an image button, if I'm not wrong, or just uh, an image image view. And yes, so this is pretty much how we're going to do. So we're going to adapt each object into uh, our list view. 